they kind of stink. May 25th and today is a very special day for me on my walk with Christ and just me in general. Kobe staring at me like he don't even know who I am but yeah today is a very special day for me. Um, I'm at Davion's house by myself because he had work today. He has work all day so yeah but it is 9 something in the morning. I've been up since 8 40 something. That's when Davion left. Um, but yeah, I am bringing y'all along today on this journey. I am going to a event with this organization called Jesus Walks With Her. Um, it's gonna be about three hours. I'm gonna be there 30 minutes beforehand though. But it is gonna be live streamed. Um, she's gonna have a videographer there and a photographer and stuff like that. So I'll be getting pictures and footage, but I am gonna be recording on my own for my own YouTube because I want my own footage and stuff like that. So I will be bringing you guys along with me. I'm gonna be meeting supporters today in person because some people actually bought it to watch me talk at this event and it's gonna be very brief it's nothing like crazy i'm not gonna be sitting down for an hour first of all i don't even think i could sit there and make something up for an hour that's just me being real i don't think i could sit here and talk about myself for an hour like 20 minutes is actually a perfect amount of time because i'm a very much get to the point type person and i still really don't know what i'm gonna say but i'm just you know praying that my holy spirit kicks in and we get it going i fasted yesterday so i have an idea of how i want to get everything started when i do speak but yeah i'm coming 30 minutes early today to meet the ceo and it is currently nine something in the morning um i'm only filming this this early because i need to charge my camera so that it's 100 percent juiced baby when we get there what kobe Ooh. kobe is he missed davion you missed davion you miss Davion? You wanna go outside? I might take him outside before we before I leave so that he has some walking in him. But yeah, y'all. Um I'm probably gonna get start getting ready around 10 30 ish because I wanna do my makeup and film and get ready with me. Um so yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a paint and a Bible study. So we're gonna be having a Bible study. There's gonna be a guest speaker for that, and then we're gonna be painting. So yeah, and then I'll be speaking, closing out, real cute events. Um I don't know what I'm gonna be doing after the event, but this vlog is solely going to be on me getting ready for the event and me going to the event and y'all see my supporters firsthand on camera um if you're watching this and you went to the event in advance thank you for coming and supporting me and wanting to meet me firstly so yeah um i've been talking y'all talk so I'll, I'll probably talk to you guys nine times out of ten either when i'm ready or i'm about to get ready because i want y'all to see that process um yeah i'm not nervous right now i don't know i'm really not nervous which is a good thing i am gonna get dutch bros before i go because nine out of ten i'm gonna be feeling tired in the next two hours um so yeah actually before we get into the video i'm gonna show you guys what i'm bringing i am gonna be bringing my bible because i mean it's a bible study i'm gonna just, i'm gonna jack one of davion's highlighters this dress you like my dress kobe you like my dress I'm gonna be wearing this dress to the event. It's like this orange event, like dress, but I'm gonna wear it off the shoulders and it's very flowy. I just felt like this was like perfect for like a Bible study. Very comfortable. And then I'm gonna be wearing these white sandals I got from Fashion Nova. Ignore my nail. I never went and got them soaked off. So today people are just gonna be seeing me for who I am, okay? And when I tell you they're seeing me for who I am, I literally mean that because I didn't even do my hair. I didn't bring a wig or nothing. Like, under here is my natural hair. So, when I say people are seeing me for who I am today, they're seeing me for me. Like, simple. So, yeah. I will talk to you guys when I'm getting ready. And probably also lay down for like another 40 something minutes. Go tinkle. Maybe take Kobe outside. You want to go for a walk? I think Kobe wants to go for a walk. So, yeah, I might go take him for a walk and. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so I am ready for my event. As y'all can see, I wore my natural hair today. Um, I look like a toddler. I was really scared about this outfit because I did not like it, but I ended up tucking the sleeves in, and I think it came together really cute. Um, nervous is an understatement. I really need to just go find a freaking pair of scissors to cut those off, but 
it is what it is. I don't really have that much time. And then I ended up wearing the white sandals. I was debating between black and white. And then I have my black bag. So yeah, I'm about to head out the door because if I want to get coffee, I'm going to have to leave like literally right now because Dutch Bros, I think it's in the opposite direction of where the place is. And I don't know if they text me back because when I look up the location, it doesn't... Oh, sweet bee. Okay. Oh, okay. She sent me the um, address. Is it that far? Maybe this thing is far. Hold on. I'm going to have to get... I can't... Oh, wait. It's really close. It's only 17 minutes, so I definitely have time to stop at Dutch Bros if I leave at this moment so I can be there on time. I really like to be on time. I don't like being late, so... I'll talk to you guys in the car because I need to pack up this stuff and get in my car. All right, y'all, so I'm in the car. I'm at the light. I'm actually about to stop and get Smoothie King because it's right next to the place that I'm supposed to be meeting at. And it's right across the street from my favorite thrift store where I be finding all the goods. Um, I'm sweating, y'all. I think I told y'all in one of my videos that like I have to go get my coolant refilled or something or whatever it's called. So, baby, I've been burning and sweating up in this car. My makeup's still intact, though. That's the only thing I like about matte makeup, but... I'm about to get me a smoothie, honey, because, yeah, and I might get Dutch Bros after, because I have to go back that way. Um, but, yeah, the lights over here are terrible. Let me see. I need to make sure that I'm going. Yeah, I'm four minutes from the place. So, literally, like, I should be able to get my smoothie king in Maybe I might be able to break, cut through the parking lot and just go straight into the lot, but we'll see. Um, I'll talk to you guys whenever I get to Smoothie King because I like to turn green and I'm not trying to be a distracted driver. So I got the smoothie. Um, I'm heading to the place right now. I'm literally almost here. I am two minutes away. Thank goodness that my smoothie came out quick because I was a little scared. I think it's in this plaza right here. I don't know if I'm tripping. Hold on. I have to like turn and come in here, I think. I'm not sure. It's crazy because I pass this place up all the time. So we'll see. Cause I don't, I don't even see how I can get in here. Oh, hold on y'all. Let me text y'all or talk to y'all when I get here. Cause this is very confusing right here. All right y'all, so I am here. Um, I'm actually four minutes early, surprisingly. Um, I'm about to go in to meet the girl who's um, hosting this event. So we'll see how that goes. I'm really nervous, y'all. I don't even know what to say still. Like, I know I'm gonna be distracted mentally the whole time because I'm gonna be thinking about what I need to say. But y'all, I just feel like when the time is right, the Lord will put it on my heart. Good child. Yeah, I feel like when the time is right, he'll put it on my heart to say I'm really glad it's close to Davion's. Like, it's very close to Davion's. Like, I was I thought I was exaggerating when I said it was like 10 minutes away, but it really is very close to his house. So, yeah. Um, I'll just see you guys when I get in there. Pray for me. I'm nervous. So I'm about to eat. We got wings, a slider, and nachos. New friend Jenny. Hi. Period. But yeah, we're about to eat. Yes. I'm definitely not finishing this painting. Hello. And 
I keep believing that it's safe. It's okay. <laughs> and I keep praying that his faith we hold in common keeps showing up in the good things we do and that people recognize Christ in all of it. Friends, you have no idea how good your love makes me feel, doubly so, when I see your hospitality to fellow believers. So what verse am I reading? You can stop there. She'll continue. get convicted, I don't know you, right? So the Holy Spirit is talking, okay? Paul, a prisoner for Christ, and Timothy, our brother. So the first part is just a greeting, and it looks like, hey, what's up? Kind of like how we do, hi, your brother and them, right? Seems like nothing. But I want you to see what Paul is doing here. Paul is calling Philemon his fellow worker. Paul, if you don't know, was a tent maker. You think that's what he was talking about? No, it wasn't about tent making. Fellow worker in the kingdom of God. That's what he's talking about here. So that prepares us that whatever is gonna continue, it's about the kingdom of God and the relationship that they have as kingdom brothers. <clears throat> Grace to you and peace from God, our Father. Again, reminding Philemon, there's a common thing here, right? All of us here, there's a common thing, our father. What do we know about Philemon? We know that he's literate, because Paul's writing a letter. We know that he's wealthy. Paul expects him to have a house that can fit people, to have fit guests. But we also know that he hosts a church in his house, right? Back then, we're not thinking mansions or anything like that. It's a, it's, churches were small, right? But it was the house was still big enough for our Philemon to host people in there. Paul sends his greetings to a sister and a brother as well as a church that meets in Philemon's home. It's telling us that Philemon is a leader in this community. There's a church here, and Paul is bringing attention to the group. That as a church, it's not about the individual. There's a group thing going on here. Many of us would consider this group to be a community. Right? I'd say that we're wrong. Let's define community. Webster's Dictionary says a community is a group of people who live together in a large city 
and share a common interest or characteristics. And some of y'all gonna be like, well, Essay, that sounds like us. We're a group of women who live in the US and we share a common interest of being women who spend our Saturday afternoons with other women. That's our like community, right? <laughs> yeah. But I did, some, I did some digging and it turns out in the New Testament there's nowhere that the word community comes up. What we have is ecclesia. That's a Greek word for church. The church is not a building. 1 Corinthians 12, 27, Paul tells the Corinthians that us, including the Corinthians, right? That we are a body of Christ and each of us part of it. The church is purposeful and it exists. Why does the church exist? The church exists because Jesus decided that these people, even though they are not worthy, they're filthy, I will die for them. I will live in this world, I will die, I will resurrect. And when he left us, he left the Holy Spirit in us. And that's what makes us different, right? We have the Holy Spirit in us. Any other community, right? You join the, the I don't wanna offend anybody. You join the AKAs, there's no Holy Spirit that combines them. Some people might have Holy Spirit, sure. When you go to work, there's not a Holy Spirit thing that's combining you guys. But as a church, we have the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit, that's what makes us apart. That's what sets us and makes us holy. It's the Holy Spirit. And as a result, we have to move and interact with each other as such. So why is Philemon so important? Let's go back to what Paul is writing. While in jail, potentially, he meets Onesimus. Onesimus. Onesimus is a runaway slave. And I don't want us to get confused with modern day slavery or slavery, the trans transatlantic slavery. In, in the Gre Greek era, people sometimes sold themselves to slavery to pay for, them, for things. We don't know all of that from the text. All we know is that Paul met Onesimus, converted, he's converted, and now Paul's calling Onesimus a saint. He's no longer a slave, he is now a saint. And so Paul, if we look in here, it says, I thank God always when I remember you in prayers. Who doesn't want a friend? Who doesn't want to be a friend when they think about you? They thank God. Why does Paul thank God? Because I hear of your love and faith that you have towards the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. You can't love Jesus and not love the saints. It is impossible. You cannot love Jesus and not love the saints. Philemon is doing this. He loves God. He is using his love for God to create, to have a church in his home. But he has this runaway slave. And in those days, a runaway slave could get death. Three? Did anybody have more than three? We're almost done. Four. Ooh, we're we have a winner. <laughs> we do a Bible trivia. All right. That was something. Choma, come up here and get your gift. Gift from Three Wise Gifts. Like I said before, this is a faith based brand that gifted us this. It comes with this brand is actually uh, inspired by the Three Wise Men. So, in this gift box, every gift represents frankincense, myrrh, and the last one was so was it gold? Go, go, go. Okay, right. So, there's a gold necklace in here, there's a prayer journal, and then there's also a body journal as well. So, give it up for Chama for being our it's a trivia, y'all. All right. Um, and now I do just want to. Um so I just left the event. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I burned off because my social battery and I've been crying and stuff. Like, I took a group picture with them and then I left. Um, I need to put my window down because, like, right now. Hold on. Okay, y'all. I'm about to. 
I'm actually about to go to my favorite thrift store, which is like right next to the place, like literally across the street. Um, because I'm right here and I have to burn time because Davion's still at work. So I'm gonna just end up making this a day vlog because I didn't get much footage while I was in there. Um so yeah, we're just gonna do a day in my life. Now I'm at my favorite thrift store. I'm gonna just look around and see if I can find some prized possessions while I'm here. Um, the event was really nice. Um, it was very wholesome and sweet. I made two friends while I was there. My table literally was pretty much empty, y'all. It was only two people sitting at my table, which y'all seen in the video. Overall, it was really nice. I cried, I prayed. We had a really good Bible study. I listened to some people's testimonies. It was really good. I talked about my testimony, which made me a little emotional. But other than that, it was really a great function and event. I'm really glad that I said yes to going to it. So, so yeah, I'm gonna end up going up in here and looking around and then I'm gonna go to Dutch Bros. My boyfriend is still at work, so I don't even know. Davion's still working, so it's not like I can have him come open the door or something for me. So I can be in the crib because it's too hot. So him being at work means time to run some errands. So we gonna go up in the thrift store and see what we can find. This is the end result of my painting. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go in here. Back at the thrift store, I found Twilight, Eclipse, and New Moon. You see how patience really wears off because I literally found Eclipse. They didn't even have Eclipse last time. And then I found these two coach bags. This one is so cute. It looks very vintage. And it is, let me see, it's $24.99, but today it's 50% off. And I found this one, y'all. This one's also $24.99, but 50% off. This is this black one, and I've been looking for a black coach bag. It just needs a little cleaning. But you cannot tell me. This ain't gonna eat when I go to New York. This is gonna be my New York bag. She's black. Right now I'm looking at these bags to see if I see any that I like. But I'm not really seeing any. I see a Michael Kors. And these are like empty. And then I see one coach bag. That one's been there for a long time. I think, well this is not even a coach bag. It just looks like one that was here at one point. But other than that, they don't have any other good bags today. People are wiping them out. But, yeah. I have these. I don't really see any. I'm like, if these are the good bags that they have out, like imagine the bags that they'd be having in the back. But yeah, I also look at the books. There was just people looking. I want to see what other books they have. Excuse me. Do they have it? Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes. Oh my god. Y'all. Talk me if you want to, but I had the whole trilogy and I lost the first one. Well, my sister did, so now I'm getting it. Yep, getting 50 shades. I'm trying to build up my book collection and I lost the other, the first book. So now I'm getting this one, Twilight. Eclipse, nail man. Period. Good they literally have all the Hunger Games too. And all these books are half off today. So I just really got that one book for like one dollar. Mm -hmm. Having look at other books. Y'all be honest, we're not gonna do this. Today, Davion Beyond did not come with me. I literally found the book I was looking for last time and the whole trilogy of Twilight and two coach bags, but mostly the black one. I'm still waiting on the brown one because it's like a metallic brown. I don't know if y'all can see it that well. It's literally like metallic. I don't know, but she's really cute. I might still get her because that's a steal. $12 for a coach bag. Like, where do you find those? Like, I don't know. Thrifting, y'all. Thrifting. This is why thrifting is such a patient task thing. Like, you're gonna have to give some dedication to it. But when you do, it'd be worth it. So, I'm gonna go look at some other stuff. Excuse me. I'm gonna look at some home stuff and see if I see anything I like. Because right now, 
keep looking. I'm a, a big time like I see anything I like. Um, I really feel like I hit the jackpot today. I found four books and two coach bags, all for probably 30 bucks. All right, y'all, so we at Dutch Bros now. I cracked my camera screen. Um, I dropped it at the thrift store. But we about to get some Dutch Bros. They be on on the phone. I'm on the phone. Well, I have a lot of points now. We're gonna, gonna be able to get five free items. And I'm gonna keep stacking them. At this point, I'm like, yo, mom, I'm gonna just keep stacking points. Bro, these people in front of us doing all this talking. Come on, bro. Some of us have time limits. Kobe, no. No. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Um, can I get a medium, um, what is it called? What's the first one? A golden eagle, picture perfect. And then also, can I get a medium cotton candy shake? Okay. Do you want that uh, golden eagle as a ice or blended? Ice, please. Yes, please. Anything else? No, that'll be all. We just got a cotton candy shake and a golden ego for myself. This line would be extremely long today. Hopefully they move fast. These people on two different sides. And I'm getting this shake for Davion because he's going back to work, so yeah. So I got the cotton candy and I got the picture perfect for me. Y'all already know, boo. Y'all already know what time it is. Got to get that initial ship, see if it's good or not. Mm-hmm. Do it every time. I'm gonna text y'all though. I say text. I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get back to Davion's house. And we gonna get on ready because y'all I feel sweaty, I feel hot, I feel disgusting. So so I'm back at Davion's. As y'all can see, I wiped all my makeup off. Um I'm about to take a shower. My stuff's on the floor. Kobe. Let's take a shower because I feel disgusting. My dress is soaking wet from so like from sweating. And then I'm gonna give y'all a haul of everything I got from the thrift store, like up close, and talk about that. And yeah, maybe when Davion gets back, I might go to Ross and see what I can get my sister for her birthday because it's tomorrow. So we have that to scratch off the bucket list as well. So stay tuned. And I'm gonna try to take my nails off so I can pop my press ons on that I have because yeah, we're gonna be rocking press ons until I do my maintenance for my trip coming up in a couple weeks. So yeah. I just took a shower. It is currently. It's currently 5.59. Um, I'm about to give y'all a haul of everything I got from the thrift store today. It was actually a really good thrift day. Um, I thought these were going to be half off. They weren't. Green didn't have a tag. I don't know why I thought that they did. But I pretty much got the whole Twilight collection. Um, I have one of the Twilight books. I have the... What is it? I have the... I have the one where the point of views are flipped. So it's Edward's point of view instead of Bella's. I haven't finished it. I need to. Only one I'm missing is Breaking Dawn. So I ended up getting Twilight, the New Moon, and Eclipse. I'm gonna have to take these stickers off. These look brand new, y'all. Like when I tell you they look brand new, did they take the poster out? Oh, y'all, they didn't even take the poster out. There's literally an exclusive Twilight poster. I'm fangirling. Oh my god. So yeah, I got the whole collection, <laughs> but I've always been a fiction reader, so that'll never change. I'm not convicted of reading books, so yeah. Um, really am happy about these. I actually low-key want to like reread all of them in order. All I need to do is get Breaking Dawn, and I'm going to keep going there until Breaking Dawn is there because that was the only one I didn't have. And then I also got Fifty Shades of Grey. I have the whole trilogy. I don't know how my Fifty Shades of Grey was missing. This is literally the most important book of the trilogy. But yeah, I actually went last time and they didn't have it. This time they had it. So yeah, they actually had the whole trilogy there as well, but I already have the other two. So yeah. And then last but not least, I got this coach purse. Um, it looks like this. I just have needed a like black coach bag. Only thing with it is like the corner is kind of jagged, but that's not like a 
major reason for me not to get it. And the inside is dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean it. I didn't see it was dirty, but other than that, it's in really good shape. Like the straps are in really good shape. It only was $12. So I mean for $12, that's a good deal. And I feel like when I go to New York, this will be the perfect like handbag to wear. That's not like too big, too much. And it'll be able to carry like all my stuff. Like if I want to bring some extra sandals or something extra, like it'll be able to fit in here. It has pockets. It just needs to be cleaned out, which will be my next adventure clean in this mug but other than that it looks really good found me a cute little back coat black coach so we're gonna clean her out clean her on the outside i'm actually gonna watch like some youtube videos on how to clean it and call it a day um yeah so that is that um i'll talk to you guys probably when davion gets back all i'm about to do right now is edit i need to edit the video that i filmed today getting ready and i also need to film i mean my edit my um youtube video because i need to get like some more videos out so yeah i will probably talk to you guys whenever davion gets back because we'll probably go get my sister's gift and i'll probably be looking for more stuff for my trip so stay tuned now we're out and about you see girl stage is with me after a long hard day of training i'm here yeah so Right now we're going to shop for my sister for her birthday because tomorrow's her birthday and I need to get her a gift. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to find her stuff that like I know she'll use. I'm trying to find her like makeup and stuff because I think she's out. So that's what we're doing right now. We're looking for Tati Sun makeup because you know we traveling soon. So I'm trying to make sure her experience is more. Oh my neck. I shouldn't have turned my neck like that. That hurt it. But they're about to close before Burlington. So now I'm up in here looking around to see what we can find her makeup wise. Forever 21 retinol serum stick. I just want to get her some more makeup. And Ulta is closed because it's like eight something at night, nine. But I want to get her makeup. I know for a fact. Um, What's that store called? I know for a fact that Burlington will have some stuff, but I just wanted to check up in here. I guess this is all the makeup they have. My Paris Hilton lipsticks. I know she's a concealer girly. They have a Ed Hardy lip pumping set. I've never tried their makeup. I wonder if it's good. $9.99. Oh. She probably would like a lip plumper. But yeah. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, do they have this little... Ooh, crap. Never mind. They don't have no set. Okay. It's just falling everywhere. I'm just looking to see if they have anything good. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Um, they're kind of dry over here with makeup products mm. yeah that's what we're doing right now i told you i'll bring y'all along with me shopping so that's what we're doing um mm. all right y'all we are in tarche i'm gonna show y'all the gifts because she's not gonna see them until tomorrow i'm gonna show y'all the stuff i got her i'm gonna come in this crevice real quick we got the Adidas bag for her because we're going to New York and I feel like she would actually wear this to New York. And then I got her Adidas hat, some beauty blenders, a pack of makeup wipes. Um, this is for my house. It's a mop bucket. I don't care that it's pink. And then we got Kobe, like a little water thing. It's only $3.99 so that Davion don't have to always fill his water. And then we got him, I got talking to this like brow kit and it has like the eyebrow puffer, eyebrow stencils, all that stuff. And then I got her a lip plumper and then this elf bronzer. So, yeah, I'm trying to get her some more makeup because she's almost out. But I think she'll like these gifts so far. Right now, we're just looking. I'm trying to see if I see anything else that she'll like while I'm in here. Um, huh? Oh, I'm not going over there. Oh, there's some nice looking uh, pictures up in here. That one's kind of hard. Baby, I would like this. That's hard. That's all the cock This is the hardest one I've seen. This all. Shaboom. 
Which one would you have in your room? Which one would I have out of these two? Yeah. Probably that one. This is all serious for me. Yeah, it look a little dark, I'm not gonna lie. They have Spider-Man. What all I that. actually do in my room is towards like new stuff is over there. But yeah, we're looking right now. I like shopping at night. Cause like, oh, this is cute. Decorative wall pillow panels. You could put that in your room. He said he would put this one in her room. In my room. That's what I said. He would put it in his room. He said her. Oh. My bad. I don't know what her would have that in her room. That's what Davion would put in his room. All right, y'all. I'm leaving HEB. I picked up some muffins, sugar cookies, and strawberries. And I want to try kombucha, so... I got kombucha. The sugar cookies are for Davion. I'm heading back to my car right now. Davion's sitting in there. Um, I just have a sweet tooth, so I stopped and got some strawberries. So, yeah. Got Kobe a new water thingy. Oh, it gets blurry. Anyways, so I got some muffins. I got Davion some sugar cookies like he loves sugar cookies so i got him a pack because i'm not gonna eat none of these straight sugar literally and then what else did i get i got some strawberries for the morning and then i got me some strawberries for tonight i need to go put some sugar on them and then i want to try this but i'm gonna try it in the morning i got raspberry hibiscus kombucha I heard it's good, so we're going to try it and see. I don't know. But, yeah, that was my little H-E-B haul. Kobe is not trying out his water right now, so we'll see. When he gets thirsty enough, we'll go over there. Kobe, one of them dogs that, like, he is used to stuff. So, if it's anything other than what he's used to, he don't even want it. Which is sad. Kobe, you don't want your water? You don't want your water, Kobe? You don't want your Iowa? Yeah, Iowa? Hey, baby. Aww. And baby, I was excited about his shoes. We don't match because you know I got these a while ago. Well, I don't even think I told y'all. Kobe, he's on. He's been eating french fries all day. You gonna give him a haul of your shoes? I wanna see my shoes. Yeah, we want to see your shoes. Davion, let's see your shoes. So right here we have the off-white fours. These are very um, nice. You can see the shoelaces have shoelaces on there. Got the flight. Let me show you the other ones because they got the thing on there. I'm excited to show you guys this. As you can see, I'm just infuriated with this. Like, it's the wrong word. But look, we got the tag right here. Hers got the little other thing. Mine's don't got it, but it is what it is. We got the shoes. That's all that matters, right? So yeah, as you can see, boom. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the details on the inside of the shoe. It's the off-white stuff. Um, the back of the shoe is pretty clear. Air, you know what I'm saying? Very, very, very nice. I like the color. There's a lot of stuff to wear with. Mm. I mean, came with some socks. Put those back in there. Let's see your other shoes, baby on. You want to see my other shoes, you said? Yes. What are these? Oh my gosh, okay. Came with some socks. These are the bread, the bread 11s. I've always wanted a pair of 11s. Mm. I finally got them right. These are hard, you know. Got the little carbon fiber looking piece. Red bottom is really smooth. Y'all feel that? Mm -hmm. You felt it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got the little, you know what I'm saying? Inside of the shoe, we got the little whatever the heck that is. Uh, 23 on the back. Jumpman right here. And on the other one, I have not pulled the other one out yet, but these are the bread 11s. I've never had a pair of 11s, mm -hmm. and now I do. And I got some dunks coming in. So yeah, those are the shoes. Close your mouth. You closed yours first. Look. Uh, whole time. He been switching up, minutes. huh, Kobe? He been switching up on us. He been having us out here in the streets by ourselves, huh? Yeah, I'm about to go put some sugar in my uh, strawberries and then marinate the other ones for the morning. We gonna try this tomorrow. We gonna see if we like it. What is that and this is for breakfast too. If you want one before you go to work. What kind of muffin is it? Blueberry muffin. Coke. 
It's not for you. I cracked my screen bad today. Are you a camera? Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all. You have to make us some strawberries. Can you give me the sugar? Oh, never mind. Baby, I'm about to. Hold on. Uh, okay. I'm about to marinate these strawberries um, for the morning. So I'm gonna get some sugar and put them in there. And then these are for tonight. You know, your girl got it. Keep her some of it. They kind of stink. These gonna be the ones I eat tonight. These the ones for the morning. I gotta mix these up. I know you're like, girl, what's the point of getting strawberries if you're gonna make them unhealthy? Mind your business. That sweet tooth right on the dot. These are gonna be real delish. Let me show y'all close up how fresh these strawberries look. Look at them strawberries, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Excuse me. <laughs> that ain't doing nothing for me because baby I'm just going over here. See, he really crazy. Kobe. You don't even know what you walking around for. Just pointlessly using your legs. I seen this thing, it was like I think it was my dad. He was like having dogs that have no use is pointless. Or somebody said something like that. It was like having dogs that don't like do anything. It's crazy. And Kobe is definitely a definition of a dog who don't do nothing. He's just here for cuteness Barking. and companion. And, what do you bark at, Davion? You thumping the wall? Barking any noise. You probably be barking at people that be outside. That people be telling. Today there was more noise going on. He didn't bark once. He knows what's barking. Kobe. He following me because he think I got food. Go to your daddy. He the one with food, Kobe. I don't got no food. And then if he was to leave, he would be looking depressed. Child, this dog. Look. He's still following me. Kobe. Caught on 4K. Y'all, this dog is bad. No matter what you think or hear, Kobe is bad. For real. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to enjoy my, my, uh, my strawberries. I'm gonna close this video out because that's really it for my day um i hope you guys like this video if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment all that good stuff thank you guys for tuning in as always i love you guys stay blessed stay positive and i will see you guys in my next video say bye Kobe.